Go. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's it. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. Why is the occupancy type of a building important when selecting code compliant hardware? That's another great question. Thank you, Thinking Man. Come on inside. The use and occupancy classification can be found in chapter three of the IBC. And the reason why the occupancy type is important to select the appropriate code compliant doors and hardware, as well as apply the rest of the building codes is because it's not just a one size fits all. The code is written around ordinary risk, ordinary hazard. The ones you see on the screen are the most common ordinary risk occupancy types. A business occupancy, an office building, it's used for the transaction of services. A mercantile, Group M, is a store, which is for the sale of goods instead of services. So they're very similar occupancy types. And residential occupancies, which include things like hotels, motels, dormitories, and apartment buildings. These are considered ordinary risk because of the way the behavior of the people and how they would react in a fire. What's considered higher risk and the codes are then more restrictive for assembly, educational, and high hazard occupancies. These are considered the three highest risk because of the large number of people in assembly and because of the school age children in educational group E, K through 12, including nursery schools, high hazard is high risk. And that's because materials are either highly flammable or likely to explode. So the code would then make things like exit devices required on these types of occupancies where you don't see them on others. And then last but not least, we have institutional occupancies, which are considered lower risk and that's because these are fully sprinklered buildings where the presence of staff will help evacuate the patients who are not capable of self-preservation or the inmates in the case of a correctional facility, they're not able to just exit whenever they want to. So staff would assist them in moving to an area of refuge or a place of safety while they await further instructions to and therefore, we could lock doors on the egress side in institutional hospitals, nursing homes, assisted living facilities, and other similar type spaces. So application of the hardware really stems from what, what is the risk involved in the different occupancy types and the behavior that they have displayed in the past. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Osablo Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below. Please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at our consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. If you have a code question, feel free to email me at katherine.flower at osaabloy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.